have to go out this way, you know? Well, yeah, you got road. Formula One of uh, catamaran. They're not proper H vans, though. Bike, wasn't it? That's a nice one. Fresh fruit salad and orange juice. Beauty. What we had last time, wasn't it? So. <coughs> Look out for the man. No, no, come to us. Today we're in our favourite Saint-Tropez yeah. cafe, uh, Senequier, and uh, we're having the, um, the Petit Déjeuner Complet, which is um, a full breakfast, but French style. We've got fresh fruit salad, pastries, toast, coffee, orange juice, jams. Um, it's not cheap. But it's uh, it's our treat. We always like to come here for breakfast, so uh, it's 24 euros each. 
um, but we just we just love coming here for the uh, for the atmosphere. When Small turns the camera around, you'll see it's a buzzy little place. Um, it's been open since 1887, and it's right on the harbour. Um, so we're sat looking out at all the the yachts with all the um, all the rich people on. Um, so we're going to enjoy our breakfast, and then yep. we'll. Um, have a little jaunt around San Tropez and take you with us. See if you like it as much as we do. Yeah. So, let's go. Twenty four quid and no alcohol involved. What? Yet, this you time. Crazy, Mrs. Saw. <laughs> Bolly, darling. Bolly. Sounds there. The Bolly. Where's my knife? In there. You even get a little S for Senecchia in your butter, look. <laughs> Gonna get that bit, probably cost five euro. <laughs> Our new boat. Oh yes, we've got to tell you that. Do you like it? Nice. And somebody pull me up the stairs then. <laughs> it's a long way. Pretty cost ready. No, ravishing. Eh? You look ravishing. Oh, it nearly matches my dress. No. Oh. Ah. Okay, we're going to the gardens with them. Doctor? You? What? Can we see in the garden? Okay. Uh, no. the, the, the view is good from the garden. The, the, the look uh, is good from the garden. Yes.
Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Just been uh, barred from uh, oh. <laughs> videoing in this museum, so there's a bit of footage which you might see. We'll see that the lady came and said, "I have to write and ask for permission." Nah, not bothered. And while it, uh, while he's been in there, I've been catching up with comments on the um, uh, vlogs that are already put on, and we've had these strange comments put on. I thought, oh, I'm not sure what that is. Clicked it. <gasps> took me to this site called Hot Ladies, so I'm just going to delete them and block them. No, How dare they? Don't delete them yet. How dare they? <laughs> Let's slow a look first. For you motorhomers, I bet this boat's not on a 10 amp, 10 amp uh, plug.
We've been spending. Yep, just got a couple of those um, nice clear wine glasses. Oh, there you go. Maserati e-bike only in Santro so refreshment time <laughs> Jupiter uh, I got a funnily enough Santro Pay Rose <laughs> the Bistro du Port so that's for Santé well and I was just um, responding to the vets because we've got an appointment next Tuesday to do the uh, tapeworm treatment here before we head up home because you've got to have it done within 72 hours and um, next Tuesday is perfect because Tuesday to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday we sail Saturday that's four days don't sail on a tunnel, sail. tunnel in four days so that's perfect so we can relax now and knowing that that's sailing. sorted what are you sailing on? a dinghy? Butter. cheers when you've slogged it round San Tropez looking at all these poor people with big boats you need a Jupiter do you? you do it's only 23 it's all right. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's not all right. It's the song. It's me here, Miss. It's about my bandana. Wife's just informed me that these 18 euros we've got here, so I'm going to give half back. 18 euros. It's like being in Chuffy. Um, um, San Chuffy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or uh, Dubai. Oh yeah, yeah we're expensive there. Yeah, the Jupiler here is 11 euros and that wine is 7 euros. Bargain. And you get to see all the rich and famous. We haven't seen anybody famous. No. We've Not that we know of anyway. We've seen rich. We saw a girl who looked like Sophie Ellis Baxter but she was a bit younger than Sophie so maybe it was no, her no, daughter. No, I think she were. I think it might have been her. She winked at me. <laughs> she did. And that's before the Jupiler. That's before the Jupiler. Two of, no, I won't be having two of them. I'm going to say two of them, but I won't be having two of them at 11 euro a chook. Anyway, I'll show you what I bought in that shop. I bought a pair of very nice, unbreakable wine glasses for Helga. And I think, looking at the size of that, a pair? a pair? Me and Angela. <laughs> Always thinking of Angela. Always thinking of Angela. So looking at the size, I think that's that's a decent size, is that? That's okay, is that? Apparently, you buy them for your, your boat, your yacht. But I haven't got a yacht, I've got a Helga instead. Did you buy the big ice bucket that they were all in? I didn't, no, Why no. Not? There were some very, um, very nice, um, Yep. Configurations, sets in there. We haven't Fair got enough. a cupboard big enough in Elga to put that ice bucket thing in. It's a gold at bed. How much ice bucket? Uh, I didn't look because I wasn't going to buy one. Very nice, that, wouldn't it? Yeah, except we can't carry enough ice on the in the mm. um, ice box to fill it. Mm. Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> Three quarters of fighting. <laughs> Happy days. Is that a bride? No, I keep thinking that. It's a girl with a very lacy white headband on with trails down. And at the corner of my eye, I keep thinking it's a bride, and Slaw's just done exactly the same. Each to their own. 
I look like a prancing pony. You didn't all know that I were married to Gloria Estefan, did you? Hmm? You said that before, Slow. That surprised you all. Really? It's just far too warm to use a hairdryer and straighteners. So it. I used to love Gloria Estefan. So Excuse me, what do you mean you used to? I mean, to? I, still, I still love Gloria Estefan. So that's good. I'll keep her for a bit longer. I should have mown it. Round two. Ding ding. Another 18 euros. When it, 1860. When in Santo. You've got to pay to sit with Richard Branson and Eddie Jordan and um, uh, Jensen Button and... Oh, they're all sat here with us, you just can't see them. You know, they're just off shot at Mini. Yeah, it's sat over there. They've asked us not to put them on. Lewis has gone off with his dog through the park somewhere, so, you know. We keep people's privacy, don't we? We will, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. respect their privacy, yeah. So, they were nearly on our video, but they asked not to be. So. Ah, yeah, you. yeah, all right, Lewis. We'll be, I'll be over in a minute. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gents, gents, calm it. Look after your kids. Oh, what's oh. Roscoe doing now? Hang on a minute. Oh, oh Lewis, uh, Lewis, George is coming after you, pal. Yeah. Be very afraid. <laughs> He's gone now. Scared him. I might charter a yacht back across the water. Shall we? Yeah, we'll just chuck bikes up back of there. Not a problem. It's a bit different to that boat we chartered on Annecy. Yeah. Well, no, it floated and it had an engine. It did. Captain Pugwash here. And you, you will have seen by now my comment about the uh, electric plug-in for the, one of them yachts. Wow. The bloke were trying to plug it in. It were gargantuan, massive. I don't think it was 10 amp anyway. No. <laughs> and he couldn't get it in. I don't know what he was doing. I was going to go do it for him. but. What's really interesting here is, is spotting the yacht crew because the crew were all very smart in their polo shirts with the name of the yacht on and the chino shorts and the deck shoes and they sent out from the rich people on the yachts to go and do the shopping and you see them going and then coming back with all the little Gucci bags, shopping bags and um, Louis Vuitton and taking them back onto the yachts and we've even seen some of the rich people being um, chaperoned by the yacht crews yeah, she was a young lass, wasn't she? That got yeah, off the boat. yeah. I think Daddy sent the, the Daddy, yacht crew with Daddy her. Daddy sent uh, staff to make sure she was okay while spending his money. I hope she spent plenty. It's a fabulous place for people watching. We've had a really good day with all these people watching. And if we do find anybody famous that wants to be on the camera, we'll let you know. For now, uh, what is it? A bit of a box of santé. What? Just say santé. Santé. We've just seen two uh, crew members heading that way um, with a trolley. Um, so they're going to get supplies. So years ago, we used to go off in an Arabo. So it's only the same thing. What, a sending me to shop? No, but we moored up at Side at Canal. And you sent me uh, to shop? Uh, well, I did. Yeah. By drunk, but... I so, was the crew. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So who, who did the locks? You. I was the crew. I was the driver. The captain. So, but what I'm saying is, is it's no different to having a canal boat. No. Yeah. Because they've just pulled in here, yeah. mo moored up here, just like moored at bridge number 46. <laughs> <laughs> and they've kicked off the staff, which we didn't have on an Arab boat. But we did, it was me, I well, was the staff. Yeah, but I only had one member of staff, that's two. And there'll be a few more than that. And so it's all relative. Everything's relative. There's just slightly, um, uh, slightly more money involved. 
and if you could hear that helicopter there's um it's a bit like the um the grand prix here we've walked past the pits today yeah um and it's a boat race uh international boat race and there was a hashtag and i forgot what it was sailed something I'll have to look. I'll look it up again. But that's what that helicopter's for. They're out racing in the uh, Bay of Santra. Could be uh, Lewis. No, I don't think so. No, no, they're in Monza. They're in Monza. Lovely. Crack on. And we've just exchanged photographs with um, a couple of our subscribers. Lynns and Ian McConnell, who are in Haverig. Cheers, Lynns and Ian. Cheers. Enjoy. Because we enjoyed Haverig. Mm. What a cracking day. We've had a really good day out in Santo. Really enjoyed it. It's been hot, hot, hot again. Um, yeah. It has, absolutely. Hope you've enjoyed coming along with us too. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you want to follow us on more of our adventures, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when we upload more content, don't forget to ring that bell. So, until next time, friends. A bientôt, mes amis. A bientôt.